How's your poker face? It doesn't actually matter, as this AI can probably beat you anyway. Also, sorry, the sun is rising out of the window of my new apartment, so there's gonna be lots of shadowing on this side. AI bots have been able to dominate humans in many two-player games, including checkers, chess, Go, and two-player poker. Broadly speaking, we've reached superhuman performance at a lot of games that fall into the category of zero-sum. And these are games where if someone wins, the other person has to lose by default. However, the success is not translated to multiplayer games. One of the reasons for this is something called the Nash Equilibrium. In a game with multiple players, each player has a plan. A Nash Equilibrium occurs when none of the individual players can change their strategy in a way that will give them a better chance at winning, assuming all the other players stick with their original plans. In finite games, or games that can't go on forever, where poker is one of them, there's always a Nash Equilibrium. However, having multiple players makes the Nash Equilibrium more complicated. Researchers have been working towards developing algorithms that might reach that equilibrium for the past several years, and in 2019, researchers at Carnegie Mellon had a breakthrough. Now, this isn't to say that we haven't seen AI poker bots before, in fact, we actually have, but this one is better than the earlier versions. Published in Science this year, researchers at Carnegie Mellon developed an AI bot that can beat some of the world's best poker players in multiplayer poker games. Interestingly, they didn't take the approach of trying to find the Nash Equilibrium directly or even of training it against real human players. Instead, the bot played against itself, multiples of itself, and improved as it went along. The researchers then tested the bot against five other humans in a six-player game. Specifically, these humans. The researchers believe that this implies that their algorithm is stronger than human opponents. They also tested the bots in games of five AI bots versus one human player. The bots played against two professional poker players, who were offered $2,000 for participation and an additional $2,000 if they won. The AI bot won an average of 48 MBBs per game, with an error rate of about 25 MBBs per game. And this is considered a pretty high win rate in a game of no-limit six-player Texas Hold'em. As a disclaimer, I don't play poker, so I don't fully understand the unit of an MBB and how that converts to actual money. Now, the fact that someone has designed a superhuman AI poker bot is certainly interesting, but the other thing that I thought was really interesting about this is the fact that the researchers decided not to release the model that they developed. They cited concerns about people using the bot online to win poker competitions fraudulently and basically steal people's money. Now, we've seen other companies choose not to release their model or to implement a staged release strategy where parts of the model are released, allowing people to do more research on it and better understand the safety concerns. However, like some of the other examples, the detail in this paper seems to be sufficient to recreate the model on your own assuming you have the computational power needed to train a model like this. AI algorithms with superhuman skills in niche areas continues to be an ongoing area of research, and they certainly fall into the category of dual-use algorithms, algorithms that can be used for both positive and malicious purposes. So as interested as I am in whether AI will be the next world poker champion, I'm also interested in what other niches we start to see superhuman AI emerge from. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. But that's what I've got for you guys. If you like this video, you can let me know by subscribing to my channel and smashing that like button. You can also support me on Patreon. Thank you so much to all my current patrons. Otherwise, you can find me on these social medias, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. And it is time to find a place to film in my apartment that isn't so sunny.